Hi Taurus. Welcome. Um, welcome to your April 2019 reading. Um, I already started shuffling, so we're just going to go ahead and get right into it. Um, <clears throat> so I'll pull more cards um, in a bit. I just want to jump right into it. Everything you guys need to know is in the description box below. And um, yeah, there's my fish. He's swimming. So, all right. So we have here the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Nine of Swords, Four, uh, four of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, the Chariot. Very interesting. So... I'm getting two uh, feelings here. I'm feeling like some of you guys are in this Nine of Swords energy right now, and you're trying to get to this Four of Pentacles energy. And I feel others of you guys might be in this Four of Pentacles energy, and this Nine of Swords might be more of a past energy for you. But... Um, Starting off, we do have the Nine of Swords here. So somebody here is really caught up in their head about some sort of person, situation, something that happened here. Um, I feel like you guys feel like um, a lot of people are like demanding your time, your attention, your energy. You just feel like people right now just feel extra draining perhaps I feel like there's maybe like a lot of noise around you or like someone something that's just making a lot of noise around you um and I feel like you guys are feeling like you know like one more thing and like that's it I'm done like you know, this is the Nine of Swords. It's like one more sword, and it's like at the Ten of Swords. Like, that's it. I'm done. I'm over. I give up. I'm dead. Um, you know, and this woman looks like she really can't handle, like, one more sword. This is you guys. You're like, I can't handle one more thing. And I feel like you guys fear this happening. You fear... This Ten of Swords happening. You fear this energy. But I feel like you guys are could be putting yourself in this energy. Um, you guys could be really focusing on negative thoughts and like stories that you're telling yourself. Like you're just too caught up in your head. You might be, you know, caught up with other people's problems or, you know, you were dealing with... Maybe people backstabbing, uh, backstabbing, gossiping, lying. Maybe we're just, you know, just, just dealing with all kinds of different situations, I, I feel. Um, I feel like these this is just like an accumulation of problems and issues and like ruminating thoughts. Um, and then with the Four of Pentacles here, this card is all about really like living in the moment, like really focusing on the present moment. Um, a really good book to read would be Eckhart Tolle's um, The Power of Now. I have it here. And then I have another one of his books. I have another one of his books called the, um, A New Earth. But this would be a really good one to read if you guys um, are really having trouble with that. Um, it's really honestly a form of meditation as well, you know. So I feel like some of you guys are trying to get to this Four of Pentacles um, where you're, you know... You're only focused on yourself. You're only focused on the moment. You're grounded. You're stable. You're trying to get back to that. Some of you might already be there. Uh, the number four is all about stability. So um, 
yeah, I feel like that's what you guys are trying to achieve. Inner stability. Stability in your environment. Stability in your thoughts. In your emotions. Um, yeah, I feel like you guys will eventually get to this energy in April. Um, the universe is definitely... the chat with the chariot here, the universe is definitely going to come in and push you forward along your path, I feel here. Um, the universe is not going to let you, like, if you guys do hit this Ten of Swords energy and you do end up manifesting this for yourself, um, I feel like eventually the universe will push you along. Spirit doesn't want you to sit in this energy for too long. Um, but Spirit's also trying to show you to really get grounded and live in the present moment and really focus on yourself and what matters so that you guys can manifest a better outcome instead of the Ten of Swords. You're manifesting um, you moving forward along your, um, your life path onto something better. Um, and then we do have the Ten of Pentacles here. So some of you guys could have family around you that could be helpful. Um, a lot of you guys also want this, I feel. Um, you're trying to work hard to achieve this Ten of Pentacles status. You're, you know, trying to work hard um, to pay off any debts, to pay off bills, to save, to invest, to, you know, do whatever it is you want with this Ten of Pentacles. You're trying to, I feel like some of you guys are trying to accumulate generational wealth. Like, you want to accumulate wealth or invest in, like, the right things, the right stocks, the right assets, cryptocurrencies even. Like, you guys are trying to build um, wealth for generations to come, is what I'm feeling here. Um, and who knows, even the, the, the chariot might even come and, and push you forward to your Ten of Pentacles, or to an opportunity that will lead you to your Ten of Pentacles. Um... And then we have here from the power of uh, the surrender cards, we have surrender your desire to control people. Being over controlling can sabotage relationships to more effectively achieve your goals, back off, regroup, and give the situation some breathing room. Um, hmm. <clears throat> we have surrender to... Effortlessness, stop pushing so hard. The art of living means going with the flow <clears throat> instead of trying to force the river. Yeah, I feel like you guys are really just trying to ground yourself and be present. And I feel like you guys are trying to let go and I feel like you are trying to make an effort to go with the flow. And then underneath this, <clears throat> we have Surrender the Drama. This is on, these are the ones are on the bottom of the deck. Um, it says, no matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm. It don't contribute to the drama. Staying centered will help resolve the issue more quickly. And look at the colors of these cards. Um, you guys might benefit from doing work, um, Maybe like meditations, using crystals um, to strengthen your solar plexus chakra. It's your third chakra. It's um, it's um, it's like above your belly button and like kind of like below, like your breastbone area.
And then I feel this might resonate too, because this is along the same colors. Surrender your addictions. Whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex, or overworking, take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives. So just take these how they apply, how they resonate to you. All of them might not reson resonate, but um, there's that. Um, why don't we get a romance card? Let's see what we should do. Taurus. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Taurus. 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 With the chariot here? What the hell? What's going on? Let's get another one. Maybe someone's just going to a wedding or getting invited to a wedding or... Huh. And then we have unrequited love. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Not, okay. Um, so maybe you were with someone that you wanted to get married to or you thought was like the one you want maybe you wanted to have a family with this person some sort of foundation oh maybe you're in your head about some sort of foundation that you had so either you were married and the marriage ended maybe you guys got divorced Or for some of you guys, it is a case of you were with someone and you thought that, like, they were the one. Um, you thought that you would get married. You pictured yourself having a family with this person, but maybe they didn't feel the same. So, Spirit's asking you to keep an open mind. Pursue your passions. Focus on, <clears throat> focus on your finances and career. And eventually, true love will come in for you guys. Just keep being your playful self. And you will attract the right one. And then, after that, reconciliation. So maybe for some of you guys, somewhere down the line, there, uh, there might be a reconciliation for some. But don't focus too much on this focus uh, um, on this person. Focus on yourself, your passions, your finances, and your career, and on what you're building, what you're trying to achieve. So maybe eventually this person will come around again. I think um, only time will tell. Where are we at? I don't have much time because YouTube doesn't give it that much time to film. So if we get cut off, hmm. So we have a no here. So I don't know what that's about, but. Maybe if there's been some sort of question or something in your mind, in your head, it's a, it's a no. But then at the bottom of the deck, we have perfect timing. So I feel like the chariot is going to come in at perfect timing for you guys. And maybe um, advance you along your career while you're healing from what has ended here or... While you're separated from this person for the time being. Because we do have perfect timing. And then after that we have abundance. And then a yes. 
and then big happy changes and then remain positive in the near future. Okay, so take those cards how, how you may. Interesting. Um, yeah, you know, just really live in the now, live in the present moment. Um, read that book. Seriously, go, go go read that book by Eckhart Tolle, you know, if you guys feel like um, you're getting too caught up in your head about this person in this situation, um, you know, instead of working yourself up, instead of working yourself up, just um, go, go read that book. Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, you know what? We'll end this with, um, why don't we pull a Jesus Oracle card? What is Jesus? What does Jesus have to say about this? Ooh. Seek and you shall find, Matthew 7, 7. At the bottom of the deck, we have pray always. Luke 21, 36. Well done, thou good and faithful servant, Matthew 25, 21. Hmm. So... Let's read another. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. John 10, 11. Awesome. So I'll leave it here, Taurus. Um, thank you for watching.